There are a lot of things that go on in Hollywood, and not all of them are good. Many people's crimes go overlooked, but when even Hollywood bans you, it's got to be really bad. When I hear that criticism brought up, I always just wind up asking myself, well, when are we supposed to tell her story? From blacklisting to cancellations, let's take a look at some actors that were banned from Hollywood, some even for life. 20. Rose McGowan. Rose McGowan was a prominent star in the 90s, but due to some of her controversies, her flame has since been blown out. One of her big controversies was on the set of Planet Terror. Known as the power couple of Texas film in their native state, Robert Rodriguez and his wife Elizabeth Avalan were admired for all they've done in the realm of Latin film. All of the glory they received died down when Elizabeth Avalan, who was a producer on Planet Terror, found out that her 16-year marriage to Robert Rodriguez didn't mean as much to him as it did to her. She was the last to find out about her husband's affair with Rose McGowan, a variety story from the time states that after the affair became public, work on the film was put on hold for a month. That's just one of her numerous controversies, a list that spans from blatant homophobic comments to hypocrisy against abusers. Not to mention the great deal of time it's been since she's last had a positively reviewed film. 19. Monique. Monique is most known for being the star of The Parkers, which helped her to become one of the most recognizable actors in the world. However, even this success couldn't stop Hollywood from blackballing her. Monique famously chose not to campaign for her Oscar after dominating the field during the 2009 and 2010 awards season. In her acceptance speech, she expressed her gratitude to the Academy for demonstrating that it can be about the performance and not the politics. It's not hard to believe that she may have been blacklisted. She claimed Lee Butler's gave her this information. Her performance in Precious from 2009 was incredible and almost everyone in the world agreed. Still, since then, she hasn't been able to land a role with any prominence. After two of her roles were taken and given to Oprah Winfrey, nothing else came in. Many people have come to her defense and pointed out that, with an Oscar award under her belt and a performance like she gave in Precious, roles shouldn't have to be fought for. For years, it seemed as if Monique was banned from Hollywood as her last role in film or television was in 2016. Last year, she finally made a comeback with her Netflix special called My Name is Monique. 18. Thora Birch. Thora Birch was one of the most popular child stars in the 1990s, but she appears to have vanished since the turn of the millennium. Looking back, it appears that a major situation went down that altered her acting career irreversibly. There's been great evidence put forward to support claims of blacklisting. Throughout the 1990s, Thora Birch was a huge star and landed parts in popular movies like Ghost World, Monkey Trouble, and Hocus Pocus. Even though she was successful, she went ghost after doing the off-Broadway production of Dracula in 2010. All of this occurred as a result of her father, Jack Birch, who abused a crew member. This was all the world took to reject anyone bearing the Birch name, and as a result, Thora Birch struggled to find employment for the foreseeable future. Thora Birch didn't completely lay down and die, though. She's attempted to crawl her way out of the grave with a comeback into projects like Kindred Spirits and The Walking Dead. 17. Katherine Heigl. Katherine Heigl appeared in almost every major romantic comedy from the mid-2000s to roughly 2010. She also had a major role in the widely watched medical drama Grey's Anatomy. However, after making remarks about some of her roles, she seemed to wither away from the limelight. In a 2008 statement, Katherine Heigl withdrew her name from consideration for an Emmy, claiming that the scripts she had been given for Grey's Anatomy were unworthy of the honor. She also criticized the portrayal of female characters in Judd Apatow's Knocked Up. Addressing the impact on both her mental health and career, the actress Katherine Heigl acknowledged that the comments had significantly damaged her reputation. While she admitted to making statements that some people might not have liked, she expressed discomfort with being labeled as difficult. Heigl further elaborated 
that those critical of her tended to categorize difficult as anyone with a differing opinion, a perspective that greatly frustrated her as she entered her forties. 16. CeeLo Green CeeLo Green was a megastar in the music industry in the early 2000s, with singles like Forget You and the Niles Barkley classic Crazy. However, his unsettling mindset caused him to be turned away from the public. CeeLo Green pleaded not guilty to drug charges in 2018. The year before his court case, the musician was accused of putting ecstasy in the drink of his dinner companion at a sushi bar. In the event that he was found guilty of supplying a controlled substance, his prison term might have reached four years. He was able to avoid going to jail, but instead of keeping a low profile, he made matters worse by making horrible remarks that cost him many fans. CeeLo Green attempted to explain himself by saying on the internet that if the woman wasn't conscious at the time, consent wasn't necessary. Lucky for CeeLo, Hollywood has a forgiving nature. Although he is not as visible as he once was, he is still actively producing music today. 15. Stacey Dash Stacey Dash is best known for her role in the 90s smash hit Clueless. It seemed at the time that her career had the possibility of going forever. But as she tried her hardest to show the world, that wasn't the case. Dash's acting career has been erratic and completely all over the place. Her controversial opinions and outspoken personality seem to have taken the spotlight from her films, alienating her from her peers in Hollywood. Even though her post-clueless fame helped get her jobs in TV shows like The Game and Single Ladies, she is currently better known for her work as an ex-talk show host on Fox News. She has defended herself against criticism from colleagues like Laura Ingram and Tommy Lahren, who have both been referred to as the worst by the public. I felt like he could give a f excuse me. Like he, he could care less. He could care less. Furthermore, she has engaged in controversial public behavior, such as picking fights with Leonardo DiCaprio over climate change and saying horrible things about underprivileged communities. She also attempted to make a pro-life film that was reportedly so bad that it struggled greatly to find anybody willing to appear in it. If that does not imply a subtle ban, I don't know what does. 14. Vince Vaughn You could not go to a movie theater in the 2000s without running into a comedy starring Vince Vaughn. But as the Los Angeles Times pointed out in 2020, both moviegoers and Hollywood gradually started to move away from male-oriented comedies in the 2010s. This meant that the kind of movies for which Vaughn had gained recognition were no longer in demand, and that caused him to eventually fall lower and lower on the call sheet. The downturn in Vince Vaughn's career became more pronounced as the 2000s came to an end. In 2011, the dilemma earned just over $48 million, but also marked a challenging period for the actor. I like your sense of humor. You're, you're kind to people and you like to laugh about stuff, so well, it's, it's fun to be with. The subsequent films, Delivery Man, and the internship proved to be box office disasters in 2013. The trend continued with Unfinished Business, Vaughn's sixth consecutive failure, described by Variety as having the worst opening weekend of his career. This dubious distinction was soon surpassed by his next film, Term Life, which only managed to bring in $13,000. Encountering problems with his agency wasn't the only hurdle Vince faced. His outlook on filmmaking underwent a transformation, and he appeared to lose his passion for acting. Vince never stopped acting, though. In recent years, Vaughn has appeared content with embracing supporting roles in projects he genuinely believes in. 13. Charlie Sheen At one point in time, Charlie Sheen was one of Hollywood's brightest stars. He still gets great media coverage, but in recent years, it's typically been for entirely the wrong reasons. When Charlie Sheen was discovered using illegal substances and making love to another man on camera in 2011, he was in serious trouble. This was most notable because around that time, he was diagnosed with HIV. This video was being used as evidence in a lawsuit against Charlie Sheen, alleging that he gave his ex-partner 
the venereal disease he had contracted. In all of this that has happened, had there been a, a silver lining? Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. No, I mean, the day I got, the day I was diagnosed, I immediately wanted to eat a bullet. A lawyer associated with the case refuted in a statement that the video wasn't connected in any way to the case. Although there was video footage, according to his lawyer, Keith Davidson, it couldn't be used to support the allegations made against his client since there was insufficient proof at any point in the film to establish a case. He went on to add that the video was only available in one copy and that it had already been destroyed. Afterwards, Sheen kept a low profile for some time, but recently made a Hollywood comeback after we all thought he was banned for life. 12. Elizabeth Berkley. Elizabeth Berkley became a major name in Hollywood for her role as Jessie in the show Saved by the Bell. After she appeared in a more adult-oriented film, Hollywood pushed her aside for good. Speaking with People magazine, Elizabeth Berkley discussed how her portrayal of Nomi Malone in the 1995 movie Showgirls impacted not only her acting career, but also her whole personality. She said that the public's reaction altered her, calling it a pivotal moment in her life. Berkeley claims that if she had not experienced it, she would have learned far less and would be a completely different person. Although the movie now has a cult following, it did not do well at the box office when it was first released, and Elizabeth Berkeley faced harsh criticism for her performance, to the point where people began to hold her responsible for the movie's failure. By being in Showgirls, whether it was a good movie or a bad movie, mm -hmm. Everybody was talking about you. That's true. And, you know, and for all the criticism at the time... Elizabeth Berkeley said that the film's failure was unfortunate, but the cruelty that surrounded it wasn't fair. Aside from minor roles in film and television, she became an entrepreneur. She founded Ask Elizabeth, a platform that aims to empower young girls. She also made an appearance in the most recent revival of Saved by the Bell. Sadly, the show was cancelled after two seasons. 11. Jim Caviezel Jim Caviezel was one of Hollywood's top heartthrobs at the beginning of the 21st century, with major leading roles in popular movies like The Thin Red Line. Frequency and The Count of Monte Cristo Jim Caviezel looked like he was ready for a lengthy and successful career in Hollywood. But since playing Jesus Christ in Mel Gibson's controversial biblical film, the passion of the Christ Caviezel's big screen presence has been almost non-existent. Jim Caviezel believes that Hollywood doesn't like Jesus Christ and that accepting the lead role in The Passion of the Christ practically ensured the end of his Hollywood career. I love him. I love my children. I don't care what, you know, the world thinks of me. I care more about what God thinks of me. Even the director tried to dissuade him from taking Mel Gibson's offer of a biblically scaled character just moments later. Caviezel recounted telling attendees at the First Baptist Church of Orlando, he said, you'll never work in this town again, emphasizing the importance of embracing one's crosses. In addition, he has made controversial statements, including likening Michael J. Fox to Judas for endorsing pro-stem cell research. While he never stopped with acting, these factors have collectively led to the actor essentially being banned from big roles in the Hollywood industry he once thrived in. 10. Isaiah Washington Grey's Anatomy was a huge television show and it boosted a great number of careers for its actors. One actor, Isaiah Washington, had his career made with Grey's Anatomy, but he'd eventually go on to ruin it himself. His controversies came in 2006 during the third season's filming. Things got bad for Isaiah Washington when he hurled a homophobic slur at fellow cast member T.R. Knight, who portrays intern George O'Malley. This occurred during a dispute, and Isaiah Washington tried to save face by making bizarre claims that his comments were directed at Patrick Dempsey. T.R. Knight soon came out as queer, which made Washington's remarks even more offensive. It appeared at first that Washington would be able to move on from his past, until he dug a deeper pit for himself at the January 2007 Golden Globes, where he once again used the slur and made derogatory remarks about wishing he could be gay. Not long after, Washington released a stinging statement, 
following ABC's announcement that they would be terminating his contract. In 2023, he announced his retirement from acting, which was then followed by the announcement of a GoFundMe page for his next movie project, which he plans to make outside of Hollywood. 9. Roseanne Barr Roseanne Barr attacked Valerie Jarrett, a senior White House advisor to President Obama, in 2018 up as extremely racist. The star of Roseanne attacked Jarrett in a tweet that referred to both the film Planet of the Apes and the Islamist group Muslim Brotherhood. Roseanne Barr wrote it in response to a tweet accusing Valerie Jarrett of aiding in the concealment of purported wrongdoing on behalf of the Barack Obama administration. Shortly afterward, Roseanne Barr posted an apology on Twitter, not just to Valerie Jarrett, but to all Americans. She said that she should have known better and that her joke was both crude and tasteless. That, paired with her very public endorsement of Donald Trump, was the end of her career, and her show was rewritten specifically to leave her out. 8. Leah Michelle. Leah Michelle rose to fame when she appeared on Glee, but after she left the show, Hollywood decided they weren't as crazy about her as they'd thought. Leah's social media following has grown significantly since she left Glee. She used her following to voice support for Black Lives Matter on her social media. Fans thought it was a noble and great thing to do until a former castmate took offense to her attempt at activism. Samantha Ware called out Leah Michelle for the way she was on the set of Glee. She claimed that Leah Michelle made her life such a living hell that she contemplated quitting acting. Samantha Ware discussed moments in which she suffered many traumatic microaggressions at the hands of Leah Michelle. She detailed a time when Leah Michelle told another actress she wanted to defecate in her wig. Many other actors on Glee came forward, backing Samantha Ware, talking about a time when Leah Michelle called African American backup dancers roaches and made other unsettling comments. After this, she was publicly cancelled online, and Hollywood banned her too. She was never really able to capture a big role again. However, in 2022, she had the lead role in a Broadway production, which brightened her spotlight for a while. 7. Kirk Cameron Growing Pains, an ABC comedy that ran from 1985 to 1992, introduced the world to Kirk Cameron and made him a teenage sensation. He would go on to marry Chelsea Noble, who also appeared in the show's later seasons as his girlfriend. Kirk Cameron, who now focuses on faith-based initiatives as an evangelical Christian, lost a lot of fans in Hollywood in 2012 when he opposed same-sex marriage in an interview with Piers Morgan on CNN. Since then, he's only continued to push his views, and in doing so, he's only pushed himself further and further away from Hollywood. He took a break from acting in big projects and instead turned to writing. He wrote a children's book, and over 50 libraries rejected his offers to read the book. The libraries, some of which have described themselves as queer-friendly, said they turned the former actor away because their views didn't align. Kirk Cameron didn't let the rejections put him down, stating that he thanked God for being turned away by Hollywood. 6. Taylor Kitsch Kitsch first entered the entertainment industry in 2006, appearing in a number of tiny roles in a range of films, such as Snakes on a Plane and John Tucker Must Die. It was also around this time that he received his big break as NBC's Friday Night Lights character, Tim Riggins. Disney was getting its fair share of incoming money with greatly received projects. One can even say they were on a roll. That was meant to continue with John Carter. Sadly, it turned out to be Disney's largest risk, spending $225 million on the film's budget in the hopes that it would launch a franchise turned out to be a losing bet. The action adventure ultimately lost its appeal to viewers and received unfavorable reviews when it was first released. Disney's John Carter, which Taylor Kitsch starred in, was a failure at the box office after its modest debut. In addition to shattering the company's hopes, the film almost put a complete end to Kitsch's career. In recent years, Kitsch has mostly appeared in TV series and some films, but no one knows when he will capture his next big Hollywood role. 5. 
Corey Feldman. Former child actor Corey Feldman told a terrifying Hollywood story of sex, drugs, and extreme loneliness on his path to fame in his memoir, Choreography. Insane drug usage, warped friendships, and abusive parents are all topics covered in Feldman's novel. He divulges information about his friendships with music sensation Michael Jackson and co-star Corey Haim. The book should have served as a resurgence for the former child actor, but it turned out to be the nail in the coffin of his career. As it would turn out, Hollywood did not like being called out for their crimes. Corey Feldman saw backlash mixed in with the positivity he received. Former host of The View's Barbara Walters claimed he was damaging an industry with his accusations. Some also didn't take kindly to the fact that not all of Corey Feldman's accusations were about instances that involved him and were never confirmed. Most notably, when he accused Charlie Sheen of acting inappropriately towards his friend Corey Haim, whose mother denied the allegations. Feldman has remained active in acting since his days as a child star, but none of his projects have achieved the same level of success as his 80s movie hits. 4. Martin Lawrence Martin Lawrence was every bit as famous in the 90s as Will Smith. As his career took off, it also began to come down. During the height of his fame, Lawrence was experiencing a highly visible breakdown. He was taken into custody by authorities in May of 1996. The actor was walking through the middle of Ventura Boulevard, a busy crossroads in Los Angeles. He was screaming, fight the power, and they're trying to kill me with mucus all over his face. There was a loaded pistol in Lawrence's pocket. He ended up back in the hospital following the event. Lawrence, according to his PR representative, was parched and thirsty. More antics followed throughout the years. Things like threatening and stalking his wife, trying to board an airplane with a loaded weapon, and displaying obsessive behavior toward his Martin co-star, Tisha Campbell. You would think that such behavior would be enough to ban him from Hollywood, but actually, his acting career never stopped. He went on to appear in Big Mama's House and also appeared in Bad Boys for Life alongside Will Smith. And according to sources online, Bad Boys 4 will be released soon. Rumor has it that taking on a woman's role in Big Mama's House saved his career from being ruined. 3. Randy Quaid Randy Quaid may never have been an A-list actor, but he always made due. He and his wife were seemingly a normal Hollywood couple, but eventually they went completely off the rails. For the Quaids, 2009 was a difficult year. Heath Ledger and David Carradine were both their close friends who passed away during the same period. It seemed that Quaid's checks stopped appearing and were instead being mailed to another person. They weren't unaware of the several court dates they were facing. During this period, the actor was asked to leave a production after getting into an altercation with his fellow cast members, which eventually got him a lifetime ban from the Actors' Equity Association. Things only got crazier from then on. They placed all of the blame on a group of people called Star Whackers. The group is allegedly made up of lawyers and critics who are responsible for the deaths of their two friends, Heath Ledger and David Carradine. They even fled to Canada, where they recorded a documentary discussing the dangerous group. 2. Ashley Judd The world saw the hideous things that can happen when a woman rejects a star's advances, and Ashley Judd unfortunately witnessed it firsthand. Ashley Judd stepped forward and told the world about what Harvey Weinstein had done to her while she was working in Hollywood in the early 90s S. She was met with praise from people all over the world. They admired her courage in coming forward and supported her greatly. She had finally made a comeback after being removed from Hollywood for so long. After she denied Harvey Weinstein's advances, she found it extremely difficult to move forward in Hollywood. Ashley Judd said that things got so bad that she didn't appear in any films for almost three years. Peter Jackson came forward and said that during casting for Lord of the Rings Harvey Weinstein, personally called him and told him that Ashley Judd and Mira Savino were difficult to work with. 
This resulted in him turning them down for the role and inadvertently blacklisting them from getting major roles. 1. Kevin Spacey Kevin Spacey gained notoriety after he appeared in the 1995 film The Usual Suspects. From there, his name got bigger and bigger until he eventually became a household name for an entirely different reason. Kevin Spacey has always been known for playing serious characters, and it's a bit ironic that a serious situation put an end to his career. It all began when Kevin Spacey was accused of SA in 2017 by Anthony Rapp. While that's normally enough to kill somebody's career, what followed next made sure there would be no chance of a comeback. After Anthony Rapp stepped forward with his story, more and more people began to come forward, alleging the same things happened to them, all at a very young age. As the accusations came in, reports from his previous places of work also circulated, and in the end, more than 36 accusations and reports targeted the actor. He found his awarded honors being taken from him very quickly. He was dropped by both Netflix and the hit series House of Cards. Although he never officially quit acting and was never found guilty, it's been difficult for Kevin Spacey to acquire big acting roles ever since. Which band actor would you like to see make a return to the big screen? Drop a comment to let us know. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. We have more videos coming your way. Just click on the next one that pops up or check out the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.